Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these hedgehog key rings. They come, you can make them in two colours or one. Today I'm going to make mine in this coral colour. So you'll be needing a stitch called a bobble stitch which will make these little bubbles on the body you need to pick your selected yarn I have chosen King, uh, King Cole soft cotton and the body colour I'm going to do it with this colour you will also need 6mm eyes and some key rings three millimeter hook you would need a darning needle and a pair of scissors and you would also need some of this tapestry cotton yarn that I use for the nose but you could use it for the eyes if you want to use that instead of plastic eyes okay let's get started okay so first you're going to start with a magic ring five single crochets in that ring right and when you've done that five we're going to make a bobble stitch then yarn over go through go through two and again until you have six on your hook and we have six and then we pull through all six and you want to pull your slip stitch into your first stitch make sure your bobble stitch is sticking out on the outside and then we're going to pull that tight and that's your first round so now we are going to put two single crochets into every stitch around Okay, so we should have 12 single crochet. Okay, for the next round, we are going to do one single crochet and then a bubble stitch in the next. And into the next stitch, pull it tight, and then again, we keep doing this as we go around. Okay, 
Okay, so you just keep doing that one single crochet in a bubble stitch as you go around. So it should look like like this. So yes, yeah, so it's one, then six. So six single crochet, six bubble stitches all the way around for your third round. Okay, so once you finish that round, you should have one single crochet left. And we'll just do one slip, no, single crochet in there. Okay. Now on this round, what we do is we put two single crochet in each. So we just did one. So now we do a second one in the same stitch. Now one more. And there, and another, two single crochets in each one around. You should end up with 24 single crochets. Okay, I'm just going to check that. Okay, so once you've checked you've got 24 single crochets, we're going to start the same round again. So we're going to yarn over, <clears throat> pull up a loop and pull through until we have six on your hook. If you haven't done this stitch before, it's fairly easy. Make sure you've got six on your hook. Like that, pull through, next stitch, single crochet, pull tight, and then again. Okay, what I'll do is I'll carry on and I'll meet you back at the end of this round. Okay, once you've finished that round, we are going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So one here, one here, and you just keep going all the way around. Okay, so once you've had well, done all of your single crochets, you should have 24, and we will stay with the number of 24 until we there'll be 10 rows in total. So we are now on row seven, and we are going to do the bowl stitch and the single crochet all the way around.
Okay, so it's going to keep doing that all the way around for another round. Okay, we are now on round eight. We are going to again single crochet in each bubble stitch all the way around 24 stitches. Okay, so we're on the last bubble stitch round, number nine. We are going to do what we have been doing. stitch single crochet all the way around and then I'll come back and show you what we do for round 10. Okay so we're at the end of round 9 we're going to finish our last bubble stitch. Now for round 10 we will be chaining two and then we're going to do a half double crochet into every stitch Once you've had, got to your 24 um, half double crochet, we are going to slip stitch into the first one and chain one, and then we're going to turn it in the inside, and we want to go in these little, as you can see here. Once you've done your first one, it's quite easy to find the next. So you just do it like that. And single crochet. And there again, out the hole. And there. You should have 24 at the end. This one as well. So we're nearly there now. The last one is usually before the start here. Right, when you come to the end, just count your stitches. You should have 24. This is what it should look like. You should have 
some inner ones and some outer ones but yeah count your stitches first before moving on to the next step okay so once you've got your 24 stitches we are going to start now with the head on the inner single crochet round here and that bit we just leave it as it is so I'm going to be using an off-white for the face so we're going to join going to do on this round we're just going to do one single crochet all the way around just for this round and I can meet you back when you've done it 24 stitches all the way around all right okay once you've done your first round with the head we're going to tie off these loose parts I'm going to do two knots like that then we're just going to cut off a piece I don't normally use a stitch marker for the face, but if you want to, you can. But I normally don't with the face, but anyway. So for round two, we're going to do two single crochets together. So this is back to where we started now. So it's that round was six single crochets and two single crochets together. Now for round three, we are going to do two single crochets together, and then we're going to do five single crochets. to add our safety eyes 
these are six millimeter eyes and this bit is always going to be the bottom so we want to go somewhere up here and how I usually do it is in the between the first and second round it should be there it is that is where you've done two stitches together so I will do it in the next stitch where there is five so one two three four five so we'll put it in the sixth so it's in between the first round and the second round and we've got one two three four stitches in between the eyes okay now we can stuff some of that body now So that's the first three rows done. We are now on round four. This is slightly different now going forward. We are going to do six single crochets. That's one, two, Two single crochet together and then we're going to do three single crochets and then we're going to do two single crochets together and then we're going to do the remaining I think it's five three, four, five, yep. Okay, so that's round four. Now we're going on to round five. Now we're going to do six single crochets. two single crochets together and then we're going to do two single crochets and two single crochets together can stuff as you go and I've just realized I didn't put my safety backs in see if I can do it without undoing it okay go to the next round on round six Round six is six more single crochets. And then we're going to do one, no, two single crochets together. And then we're going to do one single crochet and then two single crochets together. Okay. Now I need to keep stuffing as we go. 
seven let's begin six single crochets it's two a bit fiddly so we now we are going to put two single crochets together twice there's two decreases there's one ah so hard to do but we've done it that's it together so these two these two and then the other two so we do three lots is it we're now going to do a slip stitch and find it in the next stitch like that snip off our end but give enough for sewing all right now we're going to stuff the remaining nose your head we are going to close this hole up we go on the outside This yarn end up the top. Okay, and I'll show you how to do the nose. We want quite a bit of this. Come out the 
other side. Just like that, we're going to keep going in the same holes. piece so we can tie them off together. There we go. simple I find very easy this pattern is actually in my head I haven't got it written down at the moment but if you liked my video please subscribe I am starting to put more videos up at least once 
every two weeks hopefully but yes if you like my videos please subscribe and i hopefully see you again thank you bye